At this time, um, it's an honor, it's a pleasure. I'm fascinated by this. I feel like every time I walk up here, I should say, with the 195th pick in this year's NFL draft, <laughs> the Green Bay Packers select. At this time, he is a Packer, and he's a hell of a Packer, and he comes to town twice a year. Where's the number 70? That's a great number. And as Lions fans, we get to see him twice a year. He's a massive guard out of Eastern Michigan University, and of course, Brother Rice High School. Ladies and gentlemen, T.J. Lang. Back to follow tonight, huh? Uh, you know what a uh, what a great evening. Um, definitely exceeded my expectations. Uh, big thanks to uh, friends of Fracasso organization for putting this on. It's uh, truly uh, just a uh, a tremendous evening. So thank you for that. Um, I'm gonna try to be quick here. Everybody else <laughs> been taking up my time, so uh, <laughs> very. <laughs> Actually, very thankful for that. So, uh, <laughs> um, you know, first I, I just wanted to say thanks uh, to the uh, friends of Fracas organization for uh, giving me an opportunity to represent my classmates and my teammates. Um, thank you for choosing me as, as one of the speakers tonight. It's a, definitely a tremendous honor. Um, <laughs> not the best speaker. So uh, often when I'm, uh, when I'm writing a speech, I, uh, I kind of rely on my, uh, my friend, the good old internet, to uh, look up some, uh, some good quotes that I can use to, uh, to best describe my emotions and thoughts and put those down into words. So, um, you know, anytime you think of Coach Fracasa, uh, the first thing that pops to my mind is, is uh, just what a tremendous leader. Uh, I actually found a quote uh, it's from John Quincy Adams, um, a, I mean, just an outstanding quote. It says, if your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, then you are a true leader. In my opinion, that quote best exemplifies coach, uh, the traits that he has shown over his coaching career. Uh, just looking around the room and seeing how many former players uh, have just you know, become so, so successful, so successful. Um, you know, after going through the pass of Brother Rice and Shrine, um, you know, I can't help but to think that Coach uh, played a tremendous role in that. And uh, for me personally, I know um, that he played a huge role in mine. Um, as everybody knows, tonight uh, is a huge gift to Coach. Uh, the monetary gift from all the tickets purchased, uh, the, the donations of people that couldn't make it here tonight. Um, it's definitely going to go a long way for Coach uh, in his retirement. And I think it's a great way for us to all show our appreciation and give, uh, give Coach thanks for everything that he's done um, you know, for us and our families. Uh, I have the honor <laughs> of letting everybody know about an additional gift. Uh, that a small group of uh, coaches, former players, have gotten together over the, probably about the last year uh, and established the Albert and Phyllis Fracasa Leadership Fund, which is an endowed fund, uh, endowed scholarship fund designed to assist students in financial need. Um, as of today, I mean, it's been very successful uh, over the course of uh, only having a few people uh, participate in this. Is, uh, as of today, we have raised already over $250,000. So it's been a huge... <laughs> it's been a huge success already. Um, and, uh, I mean, anybody else who, obviously, this is a lot of new information, but um, for those, those of us uh, giving... Uh, consideration to help support the scholarship fund. I know the uh, the school is planning to send out more information, um, you know, probably within the next couple weeks. So, and, and that's a huge gift. I mean, it, it's going to honor Coach uh, and his incredible dedication uh, to Catholic education by carrying his name forward 
in, uh, in perpetuity as this fund enables worthy students to receive a Catholic education at Brother Rice. And that is, uh, uh, that, that is just a tremendous gift. I know Coach is definitely very excited about that. Uh, in closing, uh, I mean, <laughs> Coach, I, I really can't thank you enough for, uh, for always being there for me and my family. I've known you 11 years now, and uh, I can truly say you're, you are one of the best human beings I've ever come across in my life uh, from the bottom of my heart. Um, congratulations on your lifetime of accomplishments and success. I love the heck out of you. I wish you and Phyllis uh, so much happiness, peace, and relaxation uh, in your retirement. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.